hey guys how are you all so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it i'll be sharing a lot of uh, you know technical videos on checkpoint firewalls and it is in very depth level so try to subscribe my channel and i will see you there hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall again today we are going to discuss one of the important topic in firewall world which is stateful inspection stateful inspection was invented by the checkpoint firewall the purpose of inventing the stateful inspection is to provide accurate and highly efficient traffic inspection checkpoint gateway has inspection engine which examines every packets examined packet data results stored into kernel tables and connection tables as you see on screen stateful inspection features resides at network layer of osi model and which helps to provide good security full application layer high performance extensibility and transparency most of us thinks that kernel tables and connection tables they are same but please note kernel table and connection tables are not same kernel table and connection table are differs in a variety of ways kernel tables basically used to store information relevant to specific firewall functions whereas connection tables is essentially store all approved connections basically the connection table keep six attributes like your source ip destination ip source port destination port protocol sequence number you can view kernel table using command syntax like fw space tab minus t at the command prompt most of the traffic related to uh, i mean most of the traffic related information is saved in the kernel tables there are other tables also which involved to store the details like uh, tables like uh, h tabs uh, g h tabs arrays k buffs and other device tables but these tables may be created by the user deleted by the user or modified by the user as per the requirements so uh, we don't much care about those tables connection table you can say all the approved connection list is recorded by the connection table and for every recorded connection table there is a matching reverse entry also stored into the connection table which prevents retaining packets on same connection from being bling, uh, uh, from uh, being blocked let's understand uh, all this thing a uh, little bit deeper with the help of uh, uh, the flowchart consider we allow ip 10.10.10.10 to browse uh, to the ip 10.10.10.20 via http port 80 in the rule base and let's drop everything else consider this scenario so when packet hits to the nick and pass through nick to the inspection module the inspection module inspect the packet and their data packets are matched to the policy rule based on uh, rule what we have configured and one rule at a time get matched and the approach is top to bottom packet that uh, that do not match any rule are dropped once this happen logging or the alerting that we have set up is triggered and get activated and we get the logs 
packet that pass inspections are moved to the destination via NIC TCP IP stack and packet who not pass inspection those are get rejected or drop still here sync packet details get captured into the connection table the details as i said source ip destination uh, destination ip source port destination port protocol sequence number but when cnac packet comes what will happens so here connection table plays a big role connection table smartly create reverse packet entry as we discuss for example the reverse packet entry will be source is 10.10.10.20 and the destination will be 10.10.10.10 and source port will be 80 with the random destination port let's do deeper view how the connection table formats look like this is a real time packet uh, captured from the uh, connection table when you do the when you open the connection table you will see the packet like this consider we have a, a connection uh, where source ip is 192.168.4.15 source port is 30235 and it's going to the destination ip 212.150.141.5 on the destination port 23 you know earlier the connection table feature was not that improved so each new packet was recorded is uh, recorded into the uh, available tables or the connection tables those entries was uh, uh, those entries was like uh, you know one entry for a new connection and there was no reverse entry got captured you know the version like uh, the firewall minus one version 4.1 those were having you know uh, only limited connection table feature nowadays as per the uh, improvement uh, happen now uh, we have the state full inspection feature due to that two entries for the packet get captured not only the two entries many more let's see as shown in the symbolic link format below it gives you six tuples of connections we want to pass and the arrow is a pointer to the tuple of the real entry in the connection table and the directions are 0 and 1 0 refer here as inbound connection and 1 refer here as outbound connection here you will see first entry in the simple connection which gives you packet details like uh, uh, packet entries like uh, your packet state uh, sequence number matching rule source ip destination ip source port destination port sequence numbers etc all those details get captured at the first packet and that packet uh, we call it as a real entry second entry you will see here which is allowing the same packet uh, from your say your client to the server or from the ip 192.168.4.15 to 212.150.141.5 to enter the firewall on the outbound and similarly you will see the third entry as well uh, for server to client side traffic so as we said the reverse entry also get recorded so you will see the entry from server to client from ip address 192.1 uh, i mean the ip address 212 
dot 150 to 141 dot 5 to the 192 uh, which is in inbound direction and the last entry which also allows the connection from server to the client that is for outbound direction so by maintaining the list of all approved connection in the connection table not every packet is matched against the rule base this saves valuable time and the computing power and this is how the stateful uh, inspection features give you high performance extensibility and good throughput